Hey, Jeremy Lund here with Kiteboard Coach. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a lot of gear into your surf travel bag. Now this video is specifically for those traveling with a directional board or a surfboard. If you're just traveling with a twin tip or a limited number of kites, you'll probably get away with what's called a deceiver or a golf bag, which we talked about in a previous video. Now in this video we're going to be using the NP Surf Surf Travel Bag. Now this is a high volume bag and today I'm going to show you how to get all of this equipment into this bag. We're going to be packing a 7 meter, a 9 meter, an 11 meter, a 15 meter, a 6 foot directional board, a 140 centimeter twin tip, two bars, a pump, and a harness all into this bag. So you want to get your kites laid out and what we're going to do is we're going to put our bigger kites together and our smaller kites together. So over here I've got my 15 square meter and my 11 square meter together and the 15 square meter is going to be on the bottom, so bigger kite on the bottom. Over here I've got my 9 meter on the bottom and I've got my 7 meter on top, okay? So we're separated those two. Then I'm going to go ahead and roll them up. Now you really want to try to get the trailing edges lined up as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to try to line them up. And then you're going to roll your leading edge just like you always do. Over here, again, I'm really focusing on keeping that trailing edge lined up. And you're just rolling it nice and tight. All right, so with your kites rolled up, now you want to go ahead and take the fins and pads and straps off your board. Obviously, all the screws and everything, you want to put those in a little plastic bag or something so you don't lose them. Uh, especially when traveling with multiple boards, you really want to make sure that you take the fins even off your twin tip because it can cause damage to the other boards. Now a very common mistake on directionals is that when people pull their fins out, they leave the little screws, the little fin keeper screws in the board. Now that's okay, but don't leave them screwed out because that's going to damage either your kites or your board in there. There's very sharp edges and I've seen a lot of kites get torn from these and other boards damaged. So make sure you screw those back in below the board until they're flush so that they don't get caught or on anything or damage anything. Now the next thing that you want to do is probably scrape all the wax off your board because you know during that transport this wax is going to end up on your kites and all over the place. So go ahead and scrape that off as best as possible. All right, so once you got the fins and all the screws out of the board, you want to go ahead and line up the two rocker lines of both your twin tip and your directional. With the two boards together, you're going to go ahead and put them in the bag. Then this bag has a little place for the nose of your board to go, just a little bit of extra protection. So you're going to throw that on top. If there's any space left on this, go ahead and wrap it around the tail of your board. A little bit more protection there. And it's going to help keep your board separated from your kites. Just helps keep them from kind of tearing each other up. And also helps keep the, the wax from your surfboard from getting on your kites as well. Now, go ahead and take your bigger kites, which are rolled together. And you're going to lay those in there first. So here I've got my leading edges faced towards the nose of the bag. And generally it won't take too much bending to kind of get them to line up evenly with the bag. Just like so. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to put the leading edge face the other way. So I've got my smaller kites, this time leading edge is facing towards the bottom of the bag. And that's all going in. Now we still got more gear to put in here but what I want you to do is go ahead and close the bag up and we're just going to put some weight on it and help get some more of the air out of it. Usually it helps to turn it on its side, use your wet legs to kind of squeeze it together. And just really make sure you don't zip it, your kites up in the zipper and tear your kites that way.
NP does use plastic zippers on their bags, which is really nice actually, because it's just one less thing to eat up your kite. And they don't corrode when you're dealing with all the salt water and everything. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some weight on here. Obviously you've got your directional in here, so you wanna be careful not to break that, but we're just squeezing more and more of the air out. Once that's done, open it back up. Take the spreader bar off of your harness. Harness lays out wherever you wanna put it. And then we're gonna take our spreader bar and spreader bar pad and put them up front just like this. And make sure you line the spreader bar forward so that it's not pounding down and hitting your surfboard. Then our two bar and lines. And your pump. Now with the pump, I like to actually lay this on top of the harness just because there can be some sharper edges and stuff on here and you don't want that nicking up your kite. So that all goes in just like so. And now there's even room in here to put some wetsuits in there, your booties, and a few other things you might need for kiting or even some clothes. There's still plenty of room in here, guys. Uh, so that's what's cool about this technique. And what's really saving you a lot of the space is the fact that we're rolling the kites together. That's the biggest and most important thing to saving room in this. And also, we're not bringing our kite bags with us. You can if you want to, but it's just more weight and it's gonna be more to pack in there and you don't need them. So you'll see this all zips up really nicely. Now, if you had a lot of stuff in here and it was a little harder to close the zipper, what you wanna do is make sure you run the two zippers together back and forth a few times. Because these teeth, if you were pulling the zipper and it was struggling, these teeth are not biting correctly. And sometimes your bag could blow open. I'm sure some of you have had this happen where you get to your destination and your zipper's torn, all right? That happens because the zipper did not seat correctly. So just running the zipper back and forth a few times will help keep that from happening. So once that's all good to go, tighten up your compression straps. And that's it. All right, so we've got a six foot directional in here, 140 centimeter twin tip board. We have four kites. We've got a harness, a pump, and two bars and lines all in one bag but you do have to keep in mind that you wanna keep the weight under 75 pounds. Generally, they're gonna charge you for a surfboard fee, okay, and if it's over 75, they're probably gonna hit you for a heavy bag fee. Some airlines is 50 pounds, so check before you go so you know where it's at. Go ahead and weigh your bag first, save you some trouble at the airport.